In this episode, we're gonna go over Clive, Iowa. We're gonna tell you everything there is to know about Clive, Iowa and the little known secret. So my name is Darson Grantham and I'm a realtor with Keller Williams. My name is Alex Hager. I'm also a realtor with Keller Williams. As we've said many times before, we're not trying to sell you one way or another. We're just trying to give you information, show you what something's like. Um, if it ends up being that you end up liking Clive more than you thought based off what you've seen, great. Uh, but we're not trying to steer you one way or another. Okay, so we are, we're not supposed to talk yet? Okay. We're in the shadows. Kelsey's guiding us. Okay, we are in Shadow Brook, right? Damn it. Shadow Creek. <laughs> I'm terrible at this game. Oh my God. So we're in Shadow Creek, which is a Clive community. And uh, one of the things that I, I find super interesting about Clive is the fact that it is it is a city, but it is does not have a high school. It, it doesn't have your typical things that a city has. It doesn't have a downtown. The way that it's situated in between Johnson, West Des Moines, Waukee, Urbandale, I mean, all these other uh, you know, decent sized communities, I think a lot of people almost overlook it from, from what I've heard people say in the past. Price range is gonna be um, probably the least you're gonna pay or the yeah the lowest price points can be 300 and you're gonna go up to 800,000 probably the other thing about Clive is like Alex said it is it's in the middle of all the other cities so if you are looking at Urbandale like there's no reason you shouldn't also consider Clive if you're looking at West Des Moines there's no reason you shouldn't also look at properties in right. Clive so when you are setting up your filter when you're looking to move into Des Moines Iowa and those are communities that you're looking at Clive is one that you know, it's not gonna come up. You're not gonna probably talk to a friend and say, oh, I live in Clive, Iowa, I love it. Like, that's just usually not what you're gonna see, not what you're gonna hear, but in reality, they might, like, there's, you know, a good portion of the population that does live in Clive, Iowa. The big question will always be, hey, if I live in Clive, if I move to Clive, what school are my kids gonna go to? Um, but if you're on the side of Clive that's in Dallas County, you go to Waukee schools. Yep. Well, if you're in the Poole County side of Clive, you're gonna go to the West Des Moines schools. The other thing about Clive is they're, quite frankly, their property taxes are lower than many other places throughout the city, which is right. a strange thing to say because you're like, why would it be that different? But it is like when you're looking at properties and property tax goes into that mortgage payment, um, it's something to think about. So as we're, as we're walking here in Shadow Creek, right? Shadow Creek, Shadow Brook. Just, you know, just like right there on the list. Shadow, shadow Creek. Shadow Down. Shadow. You sure there's an N on the end of that? You sure it's not Shadow? Shadow Creek? Is that so just a typo? I can't type. So that's just Shadow. I'm the last person who's gonna complain about someone spelling or mistyping. In Shadow Creek, we're just walking the neighborhood and although it is a pretty established neighborhood, there's a ton of lots that are for sale like this one, right? And so you can see that's, that's probably two or three lots right there and new construction going on over there. So if you are looking to build in the, I mean Des Moines Metro, the Western suburbs of Des Moines, Iowa, Clive is an option that you could consider. Traditionally in this area, you cannot bring in just a completely um, random your own. You can't do a custom build, you typically. You cannot do a custom build here, correct. So they'll give you kind of their options. Um, a, a builder named KRM what was a big kind of early, early riser out here. And they would give you five or six plans. A lot of them are ranches. I don't know if you could see, but if you look down here, we've got you know, ranch, ranch, ranch. They became a big ranch, uh, I would say builder in this community. Right, and a lot of these, the way the train is set up, it's a ranch, but it has a walkout basement. So it does, you're able to use that lower level very well and very efficiently, even as being a ranch. Right. So we're driving around in the country club area of Clive. And in previous videos, we've done country club because country club kind of splits the Clive, Waukee, West Des Moines, Urbandale, I would say that little area. Country Club is a place where there's no new builds. If you look at Clive on a map, it's kind of like a frying pan. And the Country Club area is kind of the panhandle that's right off of University. That's very close to your, um, they always kind of say the medical um, west. Medical west, so you have yeah. Mercy, you have Methodist West, and it's on the north side of the road. The houses in Country Club are gonna be 
very well established, very well maintained. It's an area that the the market isn't any hotter or colder at any time of the year. Right. And, it, and it's always been a desirable thing, uh, mainly because of the, the surrounding perimeter homes that are on the water, right? And the location to interstate access to Jordan Creek Mall. This area has always been a desirable area and it will probably stay that way. Yeah, and the thing about these houses is none of them are cookie cutter. They are all very unique, especially those houses that back up to the lake. They, they sure are big. I mean, some of them are 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, you know, 6,000 square feet of finished space. Yep. And the price point on these, you're not finding anything under 400,000. And most likely you're looking at 500 up to 800. I'd say probably 10% of them have pools in the back. Um, and probably 10% of them are actually on the water. And when we say that houses are on the water, they are on the water, but these are this is not the water that you can go boat to. You can't pull your pontoon up to. It is a non-wake, it's non-motorized lake. Right. So you're, you know, you can fish on it, in it. You can kayak, you can paddle board, I believe, paddle boat, I believe, but you're, you're not putting any, I don't even know if you can do a trolling motor to be honest on it. I think the only thing you can do is either a paddle boat or some type of a, a canoe or kayak. Right. I think they might have even limited that this yep. year. Yeah, so the fact that we're saying that you're living on the water, that's literally, you can see the water from your yep. backyard, not that you can go, you maybe can go swim in it, but it, that's there isn't a beach. Right. There isn't, there's not a place to go hang out um, on the water aside from, there are a few people that have kind of like your little floating docks on the water, which that might be something you could do if you live on the water. Yeah. So we can't really talk about Clive if we don't talk about the wreck, the parks, the aquatics that Clive has to offer. We go to the Clive's, Clive Aquatic Center. Um, it's good price and the kids love it. Kind of three different pools that you can, you know, kids at different ages can go to. It's got a really good kids like 12 foot or 12 inch pool. So my two year old can go in there and I don't have to worry about him. So the older ones can go into the small uh, pool where the, um, they can use the, the small kid slide. A lot of the facilities in Clive are all newer. Everything is definitely used, but is still kept kept up. So there, there's a nice community feeling in some of these newer parts of Clive. We're at Campbell Park right now, and we want to do kind of highlight the Greenbelt Trail. And the Greenbelt Bike Trail is a trail that if you are a biker at all in the Des Moines Metro, you're going to ride on it. And actually, did you know, Alex, in this, I just read this article last night, the state of Iowa is getting five million dollar grant and they're going to spend it on um, the bike trails around around the state of Iowa. Did not know that. And so I don't think a lot of that is spent directly in the middle of Des Moines because our trails are pretty darn good, but it's connecting Des Moines with some of those uh, outer suburb towns like your Bondurant, your yeah, Adel, yeah, yeah. Linden, out, out that way. When you go north, a big um, a big trail that's talked about a lot is the High Trussell yep. Trail that, that links up. And do you know um, the Greenbelt Trail that we're on right now, that does eventually link up. Yep. If you head north to that High Trussell Trail that ends up going all the way up to the bridge, right? Yep. They're all, yep. They're all linked. Yep. You can easily do a century loop on a bike trail very easily. So we're going to wrap up Clive here. And one of the things like we want you to think about that if you are moving to Des Moines Metro. We don't care that you move to Clive. We don't care where you move at in the Metro. What we're doing on this channel is we want to make sure that you know all about the cities in, in Des Moines. Clive is one of them. That's what this channel or that's what this video is about. But we don't care where you move. And it could be something if you don't see uh, a specific thing. Because again, Clive's a big place. Um, if you see something you uh, want to see more of or you did not see something that you wish we would have filmed and talked about, let us know. We can go take any sort of custom video for you uh, just to show you what the area is on the ground. Yeah. So if you are looking to buy and you're looking for someone like boots on the ground, a realtor, a team to show you houses, do video walkthroughs, post them on YouTube in a private link so that you can see them, so you can get a feel for them. If you're not local, we will do that. If you are local and you're just wanting to know, like, what does it look like to live because I've been cooped up during COVID and I haven't left my house in two years? Like, we don't care. We will help you find that house that fits your new lifestyle. So if, it, if that interests you, 
reach out below. Our email and phone number is listed.